This short video is about the creative process of learning in meditation. So I equate learning with a process of development. So when I'm in a meditation and I'm meditating and so I notice that my mind is constantly going away and being distracted by something, I uh, have a sense of what will work, what can help here. So I'm exploring the particular topic of how to deal with this tendency that I have, actually have, to be distracted. So I explore it. What would help if I do this? Would this attitude help? Would that little method of asking myself a question in this way help? And as I explore these different things, I notice what helps and what makes a difference. And in that way, I actually take them on and uh, use them more and more in my meditation. One part, other part of that is that you actually learn when things don't work. You might have an idea of just pushing down or suppressing something or avoiding something will work. You might have that idea. But when you actually approach it and do it, you'll notice it doesn't work, for example. It just sort of closes you down or locks you in to uh, your distraction. So over time you adapt and you're learning, will this help? Will that help? If it helps, you continue with it. If it's clear after a good test that something doesn't help, then you let it go. You don't hold on to it just because it's a good idea or you think it should work or someone's told you, oh, this always works. So in this way, your learning is adaptable, it's pliant, it's uh, flexible, and you gain a proficiency in the process of learning. And that learning is not just mental. It's actually in your being. Your being, the whole of your being, kind of understands it at a sort of deep level. Ah, oh, this works, this helps, that doesn't. If I just keep banging my head a brick wall, it doesn't work, <laughs> uh, for example. So in this way, you can have confidence in the learning process and the process of questioning and asking and trying things out, exploring them. What works? Will this work? And in different contexts, noticing some things help more than others. And in other contexts, they don't help. So all this sort of goes in to your, uh, your memory. It goes in to your body and into your emotions and into your thinking mind. You take it on at deeper and deeper levels. And in that way, it becomes much more intuitive and less a process of thinking. Now, what did I do in the past? What was it that I thought was a good idea? Less of that and more, ah, oh, it'll just arise because it's gone into your mind as, a, as an understanding at a deep level. So I consider this process or this attitude and approach to learning as very creative. It's not fixed and, and based in, well, this is how it is and this is how it should be. It's much more explorative. Uh, it can take in and take on uh, wisdoms from others, ideas given by others, but in a way they need to be related to your own experience. How do they work for you? And in that way, these principles of uh, working with the mind become much more grounded in your own experience and something that you know deeply for yourself.